As most of you know, Disney is releasing a new film on November 24th in 2021 called Encanto, which tells the story of a very special family, the Madrigals. They live in a seemingly enchanted house that sits in the mountains of Colombia. But what's even more magical than the house is that the family lives in it. The Madrigals all appear to have magical gifts, as they call them. The gifts appear to vary from things like super strength to the ability to shapeshift into whoever they see. Every member of the family has a unique gift, all except for one. Mirabel is the single member of the Madrigals that doesn't have a gift as far as they know. One day, push comes to shove and something threatens her family's gifts. And with her being the only ordinary one in the bunch, she knows that it's her time to shine, believing that she might actually be special after all. Encanto is set to be Disney's first theatrical release in 2021, marking its official return to the theaters. Though this trailer was merely a minute and a half long teaser that doesn't reveal too much about the movie, it does give us some distinct information about the general idea of the movie and its characters. The most obvious piece of information actually comes from the title Encanto. For people watching this that might not know, the word Encanto is the Spanish word that in English translates to charm or enchantment. In Spanish, they use the word as both a reference to magical spells and incantations, as well as an adjective that some use to describe their objects of affection. Sort of like sweetheart in English. The first thing to note is the fact that Disney seems to be using it in reference to the family and the encanto that surrounds them. The other clear information that it does give us mostly includes the different family members and the gifts that they have. For instance, we get to see a woman who appears to have super strength as she is seen holding up a piano in each hand. We also see a young boy who can interact with animals in a way that no other human can as well. At one point, one of the Madrigals looks like they're shape-shifting into anyone that they see. And we even see a woman who can spawn flowers out of nothing from the tip of her fingers. And then there is Mirabelle, who's the only member of her family without a gift. But that doesn't mean she's not just as special as everyone else in her family. Although it's a short trailer, there are actually three major clues in it that could possibly reveal more details of the plot and what happens in the movie than the trailer itself lets on. They are very subtle details, but they may have a bigger impact than we realized when first watching the trailer. The first major clue, and the one thing that is rather abundant throughout the trailer that a lot of people are believing to play a major role throughout the film, are the butterflies. They seem to be everywhere in almost every scene of the trailer, sometimes obviously apparent and sometimes very subtle and hidden in the background. Their symbolism starts in the very beginning as well, when the butterflies form the rainbow and fly around the Madrigal's enchanted house. And it's even shown on their front door, when you can see a door knocker that is in the shape of a butterfly. The butterflies in the teaser could even be seen around the family members in some cases. For instance, behind the woman who is lifting the pianos, you can see a lattice outside of what appears to be a window. That lattice has an unmistakable butterfly pattern, but perhaps the most important butterfly we see is in the hands of the most ordinary of the Madrigal's, Mirabelle. At one point, as they are telling us that she's the only family member who happens to be lacking a gift, we can see her holding onto an accordion that happens to have a large butterfly right on the center of the bellows. So why would all of the butterflies be important? Well, you see in all forms of art and expression, from paintings to films, the butterfly has become a symbol for transformation and change, as well as a metaphor for hope. This can be seen across all cultures all around the world and has been commonly used as a symbol to represent rebirth coming out of a cocoon completely different than what it was when it went inside. Most people are speculating that the butterflies are going to be one of the heaviest forms of symbolism used in Disney's Encanto. And odds are that they will be symbolizing something that has to do with Mirabelle and her lack of a gift. Perhaps she will be going through some sort of transformation, whether it be mentally or physically, that is going to help her gift manifest and reveal itself. Another school of thought in reference to the butterflies is that they are actually connected to the source of the Madrigal family's gifts, or their Encanto. This is making a lot of people who believe this also think that the main threat in the movie is going to be something that is directly affecting the butterflies and putting the entire family at risk. And in this case, only someone who doesn't have a gift, like Mirabelle, would have to step up and save her family. What's even more interesting about this theory in particular is that in the trailer, we can see a moment when the family looks like they are afraid of something, like something is happening that is a direct threat to them. Maybe this is going to be the moment in the movie where their gifts are beginning to dwindle because the butterflies are in some sort of danger. Some people are even beginning to think that the reason that Mirabelle herself doesn't have a gift is because she is somehow the source of her family's gifts, kind of like making her the butterfly of her family. Another part of the trailer that seemed to be focused on heavily and is assumed by many to play a major role in the movie is that big gift box that Mirabelle receives from another character, the aptly named Not Special Special. As we get an even better look at the gift basket and see everything that was in it, we notice once again that there is a lot of symbolism. 
One of the first things you'll notice about the not special special is most likely all of the maracas dangling over the edge of the basket. Back in the day, maracas were often used as a link of sorts between music and magic. Witch doctors believed that the instrument symbolized supernatural beings, where the top of the maraca, the gourd, would represent the spirit's head. As they would shake them, they believed that they were summoning the spirit that the maraca was meant to represent. But wait, that's not the only interesting thing in the gift box. In contrast to the eerie feeling that comes from the lore of the maracas, you can see quite a few pinwheels in the box. It is believed that these pinwheels were intended to represent an idea of joy and playfulness, almost like a nod towards childhood and the bliss that came with all of the fun you could have. The heavy symbolism coming from the box is leading people to believe one of two things. The first being that the box may actually contain something that provides Mirabelle with a gift, or possibly something that awakens the gift that she already had. Or some are even thinking that Mirabelle might use the basket as some sort of gift to whatever the source of her family's powers might be. Either way, that basket is going to play a big part in helping Mirabelle in some way. That's almost a guarantee. The last clue that we got from the teaser for Disney's new film Encanto has less to do with the plot of the movie and more to do with some possible Easter eggs that we might see throughout it. Now, in one scene behind the boy who can talk with animals, you can see a bunch of photos hanging up on the wall. Some people noticed this and immediately began looking closely at them to see if there might be any information in them. And surprisingly enough, some people are beginning to think they already found the first Easter egg. In one of the photos hanging up on the wall, it almost looks like you might be able to see a character from a very popular Pixar movie, Up. In one of the pictures on the wall, one of the ladies looks like she might be Ellie, the adventurous love of Carl Fredrickson. How interesting would that be? If it turns out that the first Easter egg has already been found, that would be insane. Disney sure has piqued a lot of people's interest when it comes to their upcoming film, Encanto. Encanto is set to be Disney's first full theatrical release since the COVID-19 shutdown, and many cannot wait to see it. So what do you think? What is Disney's Encanto going to be about? Be sure to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. That's all Disney fans! Let us know what you thought of the video in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe for more magically packed videos!